barter the time. Because there is a seminar which I have to attend. So I thought, oh, these are the movies? What are they are about? Kundalini Yoga? Oh, Alaska has come through. Very good, very good. Very good. Thanks to me for what? I just remembered the t teachings and so you. Thanks for remembering the same way. Good. <clears throat> Tonight and tomorrow night is a special class. One way I want to run away, the other way I want to teach. <laughs> so <laughs> between two transitory mind, <clears throat> I'm going to share with you something because this is Basaki. Uh, that's first talk. You are beautiful, you are powerful, you are young, you are wonderful, you are rich. Every aspect of your life is marvelous. Agreed. Everything is comfortable or it is not. You can't guess and you can't know. However, what is the aspect of life, of spirituality in a man or a person or a woman? are a lady. When there is a calamity, if you don't lose your reality, you have your spirit intact. When there is calamity, you don't lose your reality, your spirit is intact. When there is a temptation, when there is a temptation, and you are not it, you are it. Anything you do, anything, <clears throat> I'm not saying this thing or that thing, anything you do, you want to look beautiful, attractive, possessive, penetrating, dazzling, anything you do, if the motive is not you, you have no soul. It's so bad you can't, there's no word for it. Because Whenever you undermine you and you make it up for presenting in a way that it is a syllable quality, you have already sold yourself to yourself. <coughs> Do you understand what I'm trying to say? But when there is a temptation, any type of temptation, you remain you. Throughout that temptation, this is your direct relationship between you and your soul. And you shall never lose the game of life. Granted. Third, face which doesn't have a grace has no life. <coughs> so whenever you represent yourself, you speak, you talk, you communicate, you relate, you do everything, the standard of your grace <coughs> is not there to compromise. <coughs> Three things are enough. Yeah? They are good enough. Do you understand? 
Now question arises, what should we do that we can understand all this? You have one thing in called English called courage. Isn't the life that matters is the courage you bring to it. So, live or learn to live courageously. What is a courage? Courage is when your spirit, your soul talks to you, leads you in life. Not your mind. Mind swings. Minds take you from here to there, there to there. And body has a lot of variance. It's unbelievable. But it's the spirit which is stable, which is solid, which is the thing. So when the spirit comes through, the beauty of spirit, you have courage then. And history can prove it to you. History is that people with courage have stood the time. It they have, it has they have stood the governments, the power, earthly. Even so much so, the men of spirit have stood the tyranny of heavens and didn't give an inch. We talk too many things of commitment. There's a one little story of a little boy of France, Kesa Bianca. <clears throat> this little, little boy is a French hero. Comparative to comparatively, if the life is without commitment, is a mental prostitution which you all are accustomed to do. Simply, we don't admit it. Uh, calling those who are physically living as prostitutes, prostitutes is nothing. They are very professional, they understand life. But majority of the people are mental prostitutes and they do a lot of things to themselves. But let us talk of a story of a courage. A man, little boy, a couple of years old, and a friendship started sinking. Captain ordered that everybody will abandon the ship. But unfortunately, they did not lower the French flag. And this boy stood with the flag mast and went with the ship down. And when the captain from a distance ordered him, he said, this is a flag of my country, and this is a ship of my country. I will not abandon my flag and my country and my ship. Captain had no answer. And he went with it. <clears throat> France has never forgotten that commitment. They still celebrate that as a national holiday. They respectfully understand it. <clears throat> there are some people in the human body who had these commitments, courageous commitment. Courageous commitment against impossibility of time and space and they stood their grounds. They lost their human body, but they did not lose their courage. They stood well. Now this character <clears throat> is very enjoyable, not by anybody else, but those who have it. Character is a very enjoyable thing. Commitment is a most marvelous thing. These are not some ordinary things which all people have. No. That's why 
in our life there is agony, there is a pain, uh, dissatisfaction, and we are mostly not clear. Our affairs <clears throat> do not last longer because we need character and a commitment. A person with a character and commitment will undoubtedly will win the trust of everybody. It's known that this guy is not window shopping. So <clears throat> the face and grace and commitment and character which a person can present to the world surely brings the human into the brightness of it. There are some who love God, but there are some whom God loves. We take life as very lightly. What is there? Yeah, there is not anything. Who cares what is there? Question is, is your character shakeable? Is your commitment shakeable? Is your face shakeable? Is your grace shakeable? Then you are shaken already. Then nobody will let you live in peace and you are enemy of your own tranquility. To that aspect, <clears throat> the men of wisdom gave human a tool. And that's how Kundalini Yoga came into existence. Let us <clears throat> unrelease the reserve, the spring power, uncoil it to the man's, let his chakras work in harmony. I am not saying there are a lot of teachings and please go and study them. There are a lot of dogs in the streets. There's nothing in it. There has to be ultimately a final teaching one day where you can be you. You can be anything but you. It doesn't matter. That's why majority of the people are so idiot, romantically idiot. They say the Kundalini Yoga is dangerous. Wow. Well, perhaps they are afraid, and perhaps it is true, because it's a dangerous people who practice when they do not inspire themselves to a character and commitment to that loftiness, naturally leaves the impression that either their practices are wrong, or they are wrong. It can't be. That's why <clears throat> All people of grace sat together in their oneness and they understood the man at large doesn't want to suffer. Kundalini Yoga is not to flex your muscle and show your thing and do your things. No, that's not true. Please don't misunderstand me. Kundalini Yoga has a basic characteristic and criteria we do not want to suffer. Happiness is my birthright. That's the basic uh, uh, fundamental declaration of us. I'm not very popular because I cannot sell you gimmicks. I don't have a candy and I don't have ice cream to go with it, and neither have 32 flavors. All I know is you are handicapped, and this knowledge is so handy that it can cap up your nonsense, period. I have never changed from day one. I'll never change to day last. It doesn't matter to me if anybody comes to my class, doesn't come to my class, say hello, doesn't say hello. It doesn't matter to me. I have nothing to sell you. 
you have to sell yourself, you. You have to become you. You are you in existence, but you have not found as you yourself. It should be clearly understood. There's no doubt about your existence. You exist, you have arms and fingers and nails and you have cheeks and teeth and your legs and toes and you have body and you have I think you should be very excited, sexual, sensual, walk naked all the time. Who cares all this? What this means? <clears throat> you can hang your legs up and head down for thirty six days and will that certificate something? Or you can just make a fingertip and say, rise and person goes five feet above the ground. See your power? What that means something? Somebody can sit a chair five feet high and can be up. What's the big deal? What is that what you are trying to know and trying to be? There is nothing more beautiful than you when you have found you. There is no more tragedy than you when you are just you. You have to find you within yourself and that is as essential. Priority and purpose of life is that you must find yourself and you must become a real you. <clears throat> Please don't misunderstand. I have a lot of fears. So many fears I am right now shaking with the word fear. Then what? I have fears. I have fever too. Then what? I have fever. I have fears, I have fevers. I have a doubt, I have to go on a route. All this is a life. It goes on. But you remain you in all psychological, sociological, biological, personal, emotional, commotional, Everything is there, when everything is there and you are just you within yourself and you have found that depth, you have found your God. You are my teacher, you are not my teacher. You are my friend, you are not my friend. These are your damn statements, who cares? Sometimes you say you are my friend, sometimes you are not. You are my teacher, you are not my teacher. Who cares? Doesn't mean anything. You said it, you are my teacher. You said it, you are not my teacher. All you have done, added a word, not. Thank you. You are or you are not. What is the idea of your values? Who the hell you think you are? You are or you are not. First of all, find out who are you. Then your word will mean something. Once you have not found you, whatever statement you do, I'm your friend, I'm your enemy, I'm, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to get killed by you, what big deal? Just an expression. And in the sanity, you may make the expression true. Does that mean anything? No. Do you mean anything? No. Absolutely not. The tragedy of the story is that you don't mean anything to yourself. Not at all. Your entire existence is a comparative value. <laughs> you like me? No. Do you like me? Yeah. I think you like me. Well, what a beggar. Going and out being liked and disliked and, oh, people hate me. Oh, they said so. Big deal. Does all that mean anything? No. So the most precious pranic life you were given, you have just wasted it in comparative study. Did you get your degree, who you are? No. 
See how good I am tonight? Very good. I'm just good. I'm just good. I just napped before coming here. So I'm unwinding a lecture to make you understand the most precious thing ever happened to you is that you became you and most real thing can happen to you, you can find you within you. And what makes you to find within you is the blessing of the science of Kundalini, the union which is forever between person and one soul, penetrating through all the chakras, bringing the awareness and the loftiness. I am very grateful that at one moment I was fortunate to learn it. It's not that I didn't learn a lot of hanky-pinkies. I'm a very good palmist. Believe me, show me a hand from a distance, I'll read it like a book. Give me a horoscope, I'll blow your mind. But what the stupid stars can do when you are not you? There's a book on numerology because I normally sometimes put the accountability of a human longitude and latitude, altitude and attitude together and balance it out. You always know what is tomorrow. There is no tomorrow, my dear. Tomorrow shall become today when it will face you. And if you have not learned to have the mastery of the day, <clears throat> then you can never be my student. Because to tomorrow, when it becomes today, I have to give it a grace. Because yesterday gave me face and grace. I shall honor my tomorrow. I am honoring my today as I have honored my yesterday. In these sentences is human commitment. It's my honor. Therefore, I shall honor all what I see, feel, hear, touch. Therefore, I shall not fluctuate. People who live in the city knows little earthquake came everywhere, put their tails between the legs, ran. Oh, man, I can't stand it. Yeah, you can't, because the earth shook under your feet. And just watch your mind has not found the base of the soul on which it can sit, stand, or live on. See how un, without foundation you are? So, let us see if we can practice something tonight for a few minutes to get into our depth. Hopefully, you will enjoy it. If you can't, your luck. If you will, your luck. Depends upon how you join it. Please take these two fingers and hold these fingers and this standard ear, this called ear lobe, standard, from here, put it a straight line like this. Straight. Your hand must be straight. Mm, yeah, no, I am correct. This is not correct, this is correct. Hands have to come in a standard with the length of the earlobes. I'm not gonna measure you, this is what they said in the scripture, so I'm just telling you. <coughs> How good you are at it is your problem, that's what's going to be the result. Be careful, that's very important. Because earlobe is where arc line ends. 
So these two fingers must be with that standard, like this. Chest has to be very out, then only it will be straight. And please close your eyes. And please make it O of your mouth, O. And breathe in. And breathe out. And listen to that sound which your breath takes. This exercise in three minutes is start playing games with you. We have just started, we have marked the time and we are on it. Standard. Just understand, don't let the fingers and the position of the hand move. Standardize it. That's all is the trick to it. I have done it, I know it, and I understand it. <clears throat> no variance in posture for a better, best result, but the tragic part of it is within three months is going to relax you and start playing with your nerves one way or the other, but don't worry about it. You will come through. Some people are so powerful, they move the word, and some people are so powerful, they go to movies. Nobody knows why people are doing what they're doing. <clears throat> Today, just feel that you have a role to play and script to follow, and follow it correctly, act out wonderfully. So tomorrow may be a new dawn for you with a different experience. You must listen to the sound of your breath. That is where you will concentrate. Yes, my friends, watch your posture. In this exercise, the greatest beauty is in posture. The hidden purpose is to keep the posture going so that from arc line, the whole body becomes arc line. That's the power of it. And you must concentrate on the sound of breath.
Don't disturb yourself with any other thought. Listen to the sound of your breath. Breathe through that little hole, that little O. Crunch your lips to make that O. Use your powers. Concentrate. The synchronized uh, lips will help you a lot. You can't believe. Concentrate deeply, space out a little bit, fly into yourself. Concentrate on the power of that sound. Please pass it, participate with courage, determination, with commitment, <clears throat> just to achieve an experience. Now with the tip of the tongue you will create the sound of har. Har. Tip of the tongue. Har. 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 From the tip of tongue to the point of the navel. <coughs> and tip of the tongue. your hands 
Don't lose the posture. Penetrate the chakras now. You have the ability now at this moment. Create the heat and penetrate. You and you alone can do it. Power, power, use the power. Concentrate on your navel point and line up your energy as the breath is walking through your body in a straight, simple line. In all pillars of the body, you have the mastery of your breath this minute. Cannon fire exhale. Totally exhale. Nothing should be left in the lungs. Inhale again deep. Deep, 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 deep. Lock it. Fire out. Fire out. Really good. Inhale deep again and relax. You didn't need the third time, so you were good. That's it. <laughs> that you paid much less than what you have got. So it's fine. It's not <laughs> too much. If I raise everybody's kundalini tonight, I could have gone that way out. Then tomorrow, there will be no need of any student, but I have to teach a class tomorrow. <laughs> 6 30. We'll do, we'll do the same thing. Just relax, relax, relax. Just relax. Talk to each other. Just relax a few minutes. Moment you will be normal, I'll quit. Mm. Thank you. Mm. beautiful than your father and your mother. Your both parents cannot match you.
First day she could eat. So. Oh, that's an improvement. Yeah. I bought for her every day to come to the clinic. Yeah. I know. I'm trying to be there for her. Okay. No, no. She hasn't gone out anywhere. I know. She wants to get some herbs. That's all. I got to go. Okay, fine. I know. I read um, your commentary. I just had a meeting with. Um, huh? Just had a meeting with Satsuman and Group about the which, which commentary? What you wrote up. Oh, that. That whole thing. And uh, I can totally. I gave a, I gave a copy to Satya. and Satya. Because we're basically in agreement on that system. Yeah. I think we can just reach agreement and get down to that. Yeah. Very busy. She does all the stuff by default. She does all the buy stuff. Takes care of all the bills. She takes care of all the Sutton, was this on? No. It's on. But it. Not very long. Hello, Satnam, everyone. Tonight, you have a chance to uh, win a lapis necklace, a palki sob for your guru, or a um, tantric necklace. Tonight, we're selling the tickets out front. They're $11, and the proceeds go to benefit the baisaki that we just had. Pay those dollars so we may and also, there's a Gurdwara this Friday night in honor of the uh, Jatadar's birthday at Guru Ramdas Ashram. Satnam. The Jatadar of the Kaltak. Yes. Yeah. 
$11. Sherry Bundu. <laughs> Okay. Have anybody got a 